Hello and thank you for watching this video where we're going to look at EasyTune which is our Scomolet tuning solution in four minutes. It all starts with EasyTune which is a management pack imported into SCOM. It consumes the tuning that you want to set from these things called tuning packs which are CSV files. These are um, worked between the SCOM administrator and domain experts who will be ultimately responsible for handling the alerts that SCOM will generate. They can also be consumed from our community store which is a GitHub hosted repository which is contributed to by a community of experts with best practice. And the end result is override stored in SCOM in sensibly named management packs. Let's have a look at it in action. So here we are in EasyTune and here you see our community store, the tuning packs from it. The one I have selected right now is from uh, a guy called Stoyan who is a Microsoft MVP. He wrote this for us and we have some tuning set up from it. We're actually going to create a tuning pack from scratch here. We're going to create one for Windows Server 2016 we start by selecting the management packs we want to include, these two here. We give the tuning pack a name. We say where we want the tuning pack to be stored. When it's done, it's opened, which I'm not going to do right now. And here it is. So the first thing you see is there are two levels here, uh, discovery only and MP defaults that are uh, on all tuning packs and we can instantly tune from these and that's what we're going to do. We're going to tune globally now, so across all of SCOM. We're going to select the discovery only level which essentially turns off everything in the management packs in scope that are not discoveries. You can see what's going to be set here. Uh, we then select where we want the overrides to be stored and hit finish through the wizard. You'll see the name of the management pack that will be created in SCOM along with the summary of what's going to be done. The summary here is stored on the management packs knowledge tab along with the date stamp and the user who actually set the tuning in place. There we go, we can see that our global tuning level is now set to discovery only. Next we're going to open this tuning pack locally and we're going to do some things with this custom level. So this is the tuning pack. So firstly, we can see the management packs uh, that are in this tuning pack, the type of workflow that each of these lines represents, the workflow's ID, which I've hidden here, uh, the display name, uh, the description of the workflow, and what type of parameter it takes, and the default value that this management packs workflow is set to. And then we have our custom column. We're going to put some values in here, which I'm going to paste in. You get the idea, you can essentially type um, whatever you like in here, as long as it's valid, as long as you put an integer into an integer, it will work. We're also going to give this level a custom name other than the word custom by changing the column name. And we're going to save this into SCOM. And there we go, we've refreshed EasyTune and we can see that the level that we set up is ready to be tuned from. So now we're going to tune a group with that level. I'm going to select my group called Group2. Here it is. And we're going to select the level we just created. You can see what we set in the tuning pack being read by EasyTune here. We are going to use a schedule for this one. So we're going to say we want this tuning in effect during business hours. We're going to select the default location and hit finish. Uh, again, you'll see what uh, what's stored on the management pack in the knowledge tab. And there we go, you can see that tuning is now in effect. You could do the same thing for tuning specific objects as well. Everything I've shown you so far is free. Um, we have videos that cover the functionality that's in our uh, enterprise edition, such as the ability to capture effective tuning um, that's in place that I would thoroughly recommend you check out. Thank you for watching this video.